Hello everybody. Hello. It's Barry and Phoebe here. Hello. Welcome to my virgin <laughs> kitchen. We hope you are well. You. That's right. You gotta make sure you're pointing the lens and not that, okay? Teaching you. Yay. One day this will be yours. I mean, kind of a little bit is anyway. It's been there from the beginning nearly with me, Phoebe. <sighs> Memories. Calm down. Okay. Today we are making shatung. Fudge. But not just any old fudge. No. Unicorn fudge. We are making unicorn fudge. You've got a unicorn on your t-shirt. Yeah. Which is actually a coincidence, 100%, right? Yes. And also, the best thing about it is instead of having boring vanilla extract, we're going to have strawberry. Because, of course, unicorns taste like strawberries or smell like them, right? Yeah. But it's good, though, because it isn't red and it won't die. It. It's see-through. Yes. Which is good. The ingredients are very simple, aren't they, little lady? Yes. There's double cream. AKA heavy cream. White chocolate. Get the good quality stuff because otherwise you could potentially churn up your chocolate. When you melt white chocolate, it's a bit sensitive. Five bars. It's a lot. The extract, but it's optional if you want strawberry. You can have the extract if you want, or you can have something else like lemon or banana. Is there even such thing as banana extract? I don't know, but anyway, this is strawberry extract. Nice one. Basically, you can make white chocolate fudge with the white chocolate and the cream, and that would be it. But we're going to do some enhancements. Are we? We're going to make it more unicorny. We're going to make it more unicorny. Yes, unicorny. Get it? Corny. <coughs> is that funny? Corn. We don't have corn. No. No. It can have a... Purple hair, I mean a mane and a tail and green hooves because it gets grass everywhere. We're not making an actual mould of a unicorn, we're just okay. putting it in a tray. Okay. I'll have to get the cow creamer thing out again, maybe... <gasps> what? Oh, no, we can't do that. I was going to say the creamer thing I used the other day, which is on the screen right now, we could have filled that with fudge, let it set, then smash off the cow outer and then you'd actually have a cow of fudge. We're not a unicorn. Because they don't sell unicorn moulds in the shop, do they? Well, why don't you order it? No, it probably does exist somewhere. Right now, Mrs. Barry and Chloe are out getting us some baking parchment for our tin because we are prepared. Because that's the first step you should We're be doing. Not We're not prepared because we don't have it. And this is my sixth video in six days. I'm kind of tired. So we're going to line that tin first of all, that is what you should be doing, but we're going to jump to the next step. Are you ready? Ready? Go! Go! <laughs> <laughs> to try something that tastes of strawberries. First thing we need, hello. Hello. Is 120 mils of cream. There you go, mate. 120. I just need to snap it a bit more because I can feel big chunky bits. Ah! Hi. Hi. <laughs> right now, this is pretty weird for me. I'm going to throw back right now to our very first video, just a screenshot, the first video Phoebe was in. We're making memories, folks. <sighs> like you were such a little baby, and now you're grown up, and you like, you talk about things like you're an adult and stuff, like you're, you're more smart than me. All right, so getting that chocolate broke up? Yes, I've got two more packets. All right, so while Phoebe's doing that, I'm just gonna sort of uh, fill this with a little bit of water so that the bottom of the bowl doesn't touch it, so we can melt it. Are you dancing? Baking parchment! Baking parchment team have arrived. Thank you. Are you going now? Cream on top of the chocolate. You've got your strawberry extract. Obviously the more you put in, the stronger it'll be, but just a little splash. A teeny bit more. Yeah. So that's going to infuse strawberryness. So how does that smell like? Mmm, smells of strawberries and white chocolate. <laughs> Fantasy. So that goes in there, and that's the bottom of the bowl is not touching the water, okay? Obviously, if you wanted to, you could microwave this right now, but we're going to do slow. I just had to remove the child from the flame just for a minute. All right, that's on a low flame. We're going to melt it together, and we'll just get our spatch, right? Go get the spatch. Right, I'm holding the spatula steady because it can rock. See, like that. Uh, and Phoebe understands flames and that, so she can help out a little bit here. 
But all we're doing is just stirring it a little bit. Don't need to do it too much, the heat's gonna do all the work, but if you lift some of the cream onto the chocolate, it will speed up the you melting. You don't want to burn the chocolate or the cream. That's right. And you are much further away from my armpit than that looks, right? Don't you dare smell my armpit. <laughs> Hi, my name's Phoebe. Ten years old. And I'm a girl. Error to who? I'm going to keep my eye on the melting thing with the pug because we're both trained at that. Phoebe's going to get the scissors out. <laughs> I'm rubbing butter in the tray. And you it are. Feels so Look nice. at that. Get it on the sides as well. Okay. It's like giving it a massage. Massage in some tin. All right, while she's doing that, I'm just going to give that a little move around. All right. Good work, sister. I'm now lining it in. Right, so we decided to change to a smaller tin and some different food colourings because the other ones would probably make the chocolate go really funny. So yeah, these are some oil based ones and what are you going to do with it? So we have a pot of green, blue and pink. We have cocktail sticks as well. So we're just going to go with this and put it all in the tin. Or and swirl it? Yeah, I'm going to swirl the colours through. Alright. Ah, oh. You know, it's like fudge in the loosest terms. <laughs> but it's like a sort of, effectively it's a two ingredient recipe. It kind of looks a bit like porridge. <laughs> looks a bit like porridge? Yeah. <laughs> Just sort of hacking into it. There. There you go. I quite like that. We should do like blue and pink there. Yeah. So we can smooth it out once we've done all that. <laughs> so now we just get a little uh, spatula smooth edge thing to just smooth down the top. Oh yeah. I think you've just made it into a tie-dye shirt, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Are you eating the toppings? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Hundreds and thousands. Hundreds and thousands. And some, I don't know what they are, but more like rainbow or more unicorn-y. You gonna shake them on? Yeah. Go on then. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that looks awesome. All right, you haven't gone uh, half-hearted on that, have you, mate? No. <laughs> Love it. Right, so last thing. Phoebe is just pressing them into the uh, chocolate mix so that they don't be loose. And it holds it in place. And then we shove this in the fridge for at least an hour. But Harry, what are you doing, mate? You could be making unicorn fudge. Oh. Right, so whilst Phoebe's gone in to watch the rest of that wedding thing, I'm going to stick this in the fridge and we'll see it in a bit. Huh? Phoebs? Yeah? It's ready. Yes! Hey! <laughs> Alright? Yeah, it looks so yummy. Oh yeah! Look at that! I like that. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> well, I think we've got quite a lot there, Phoebs. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you have got like the greeny bit, and then the blue and purple bit, and then the real pinky bit and purpley bit. <laughs> That's worked quite well. You can just see Phoebe's blurry face in the background, folks, but look, there you go. All different coloured effects. Uh, let it sort of stand for a couple of minutes just while it sort of adjusts to room temperature. Oh, oh it's so God. soft. Mm. It looks like a really hard, nasty block of soap. It's just so good. But, mm. You'd love it. You'd love it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want some, girls? <laughs> oh, dear. Do you want some clothes? Do you want some? Is it nice? Yeah. Tastes like flowers or something. Tastes like flowers? No, no, no. It tastes like smarties. Or smarties. Oh, nice. Nice? Phenomenal. Another video in the bag. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button to be notified of all new uploads. Uh, follow us on My Virgin Kitchen social media at My Virgin Kitchen for all behind the scenes bits and bobs, right? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so, of course, if you try any recipes, don't forget to send a picture in. Oh yeah, we only rehearsed that four times. Uh, that's it guys, goodbye from us. Bye.